When playing with a robot at home, it's not unusual for a robot to end up under a sofa, requiring lying flat on your face, trying to hook the robot out from under the sofa. It would be nice if we had some way of making our robot stop when it came to a line. Using Taz 1's color sensor, we can do that. First, we need to tell our robot that the motors are on slots E and F in our Taz 1 robot. Good. Next, we want to set the movement speed to a lowish speed so we can see what the robot's doing. 40% will be good. We then use the command to get TAS1, a robot to go straight forward until we tell it to stop. Now, how do we tell it to stop? We need to go down to one of the yellow commands a wait until command. This is the wait until command. Add it to our program. And then we've got to tell it what to wait until. So we go down to the sensors and look at the top blue one. We move that into the middle of the wait until. We need to change the slot to C because we've got our color sensor plugged into slot C. And we want it to stop not on red but on black, so we change that to black. And we'll have a color sensor which will stop the program when it sees black. Now, we want to tidy up the program, so we'll bring down a stop all and change that into a stop all and exit program. There, that's tidied up nicely. Now connect by USB or Bluetooth if you want. I'll use USB and we'll try running the program to see if it works. Good, it worked with white as a background, but it should work regardless of the background colour. Let's test it with a lot of colours. Even with a mix of colours and it works beautifully. But suppose we wanted to stop on another colour, for example green. Let's try that. We change the black in the program to green. Good. And then start the run. Excellent. Now, some robot competitions want our robot to stop on silver. We don't have a selection of silver, so let's try white. It stops on white quite beautifully. But surprise, it stops on green and yellow. It stops on silver, as we'd hoped. It's strange that it stopped on the striped green and yellow line when it was supposed to stop on white. Let us see if it stops on green. First select green, and then run. It does not stop on the striped green and yellow. It stops on the green. Let us see if it stops on yellow. Select yellow and run. It does not stop on the striped yellow and green, but does stop on the yellow. There are reasons for this confusion, but they are beyond the scope of a beginner tutorial. In summary, what we learned from these tests is that the LEGO color sensor is a good sensor which is reliable when used with black, white or silver, and a color. It might sometimes produce unexpected results if there is a mixture of colors, but this will be unusual. This color sensor is a compact and mostly reliable sensor which can give you a lot of enjoyment. Have fun!